Okay, in this episode, we're going to show you how to install our Unigrip bracket. The Unigrip bracket is the Wisdom Audio bracket that is used in our Sage series products for the in-wall products. Uh, for example, the P20, C38, the L75s, L100s, l 150s C150s, C225s, etc. Uh, it's a very simple bracket. It works on sheetrock, so you can literally clamp it into sheetrock Unlike typical um, in-wall speakers that use little dog ears that fold out, uh, this is a full clamping system that runs the length of the actual speaker mount, and then the speaker itself installs into this bracket once it's clamped into the wall. So this particular speaker that we're going to install today is a P20i. Uh, you can see we've got two woofers, our planar driver, has the uh, uh, inputs on the bottom. The P20i, like the rest of our Sage product, is a bi-amped speaker. So it uses a high pass and a low pass input on the back here. Um, but the speaker itself doesn't mount into the wall. The speaker actually mounts into the Unigrip bracket. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the grill right here, which is magnetic, and set that aside. And this is the inside of the Unigrip right here. These are the actual clamps that clamp to the back side of the sheetrock, which will cut a hole here in the wall here momentarily. Uh, there are regular machine screws that hold that in. They look like this. I've already taken most of them out. I'm going to take the last couple out right now in the interest of time. So when you take the bracket out of the box, you simply unscrew all those machine screws that are inside here like so. And then you'll see that that bracket itself will just pop right out. So once we've got that off, this is our two brackets right here that are going to go in and screw into the back side of the wall and clamp. So instead of having just a little dog ear that would normally pop out on an in-wall speaker like so and clamp in, which would put pressure points, this particular bracket clamps the entire length of the speaker so you can see how it will clamp in and really give you a nice solid fit into that sheetrock. It's pretty thick so you can go um, you know up to some pretty thick sheetrock and not have to worry about uh, you know having something that's too thick. So the first thing that we're going to do is figure out where our speaker is going to go. You can see here I still have some holes in the wall from a previous video so don't mind those. But basically, we're going to take this product and put it up to the wall here, this particular bracket that we have, the, the grill frame, I would call it. And I'm going to figure out where I'm going to go. I'm going to level that, make sure that I'm uh, square on here. You want to have your speakers level in your wall. So there I've got my little old uh, speaker level right there. So we're good. And then I'm just simply going to mark the outside of this bracket. And that's where I'm going to cut. And once we're done with that, I'll actually cut this thing out and then I will show you how that Unigrip actually works. There. There's our trace of what we're going to actually cut out. Uh, for this instance, because I'm old school, I'm going to use the old uh, sheetrock knife right here. We're going to cut right over and Now all the uh, Sage in-wall product, uh, the P20, P38, uh, C38, C20s, L75s, all that product, is all designed to fit into a standard 2x4 wall. So once we've got our hole cut, let's make sure that our frame fits inside there, which it does. You can see it's a very simple process that way. Now I can simply take my brackets slide them in the back right here, line up my screw holes, and take these machine screws, screw them right back in, three on each side here, 
Make sure you put them in the right holes because there are more holes. The additional holes are to actually screw the speaker in. See how that clamps right in. Very simple process. Same thing on the other side here, line them up, drop those machine screws right back in there. Clamp them in there nice and tight. That's really just as simple as it is. Once those are clamped in, they are very solid. They help to isolate the speaker. They help to isolate the actual speaker from the sheetrock, so it helps to cut down on some of those resonances that you would normally get. From there, you want to take your in-wall speaker, in this particular case, our uh, speaker wire is gonna drop in the bottom right here. We set it inside, just like that. And we're gonna drill our uh, sheet metal screws in. Put a couple in there to keep it in place, line it all up, and that's it. It's that simple. The only thing that's different as you go up in size is the side of the, the size of the actual unigrip bracket. Obviously, it gets bigger as you go up. But the overall design and the way it goes together, pretty much identical for all of the Sage products. Now we've got our speaker in. Then, last step is our grill, which is magnetic. Again, it's a simple process. Stick it on, there's our speaker. We are installed.